All right, Bike Blogger here. Here we go. Headsets. This is following up on my last video. Um, I'm looking at my other bike now. It has a Ritchie headset, and I have a problem with my fork. Here's my fork. I just took it off my bike. Not a lot of information on here that can help me buy the same fork again. Uh, I could try contacting the manufacturer. Um, but the problem with the fork, what's the problem with this fork? Is it cracking? Is there a problem with it that you know, could be you know, structurally a problem? I, should I stop hitting it on the concrete floor? Well, here's the problem. Not sure if you can hear that, but uh, there's something rattling inside of the fork. There aren't any holes at the bottom of the fork. So there's no way of getting this stuff that's inside the blade or blades of the fork out of here. Yeah, I looked down the steering column down in there and uh, I couldn't see an opening at all for the blades of the fork. The blades are this part here and this part here. So the rattling noise is something inside of here rattling. So this fell out of the steering column when I tipped it over. I don't know if this is a piece of uh, resin or if it's just, I don't know, just trash or something that was inside of my, uh, my fork. But uh, I don't know if this is what is rattling around inside the fork blade. Possibly since it's carbon fiber. I have no idea. I think I found a fork that is very similar, if not the exact same fork I have right now. Uh, things you want to watch out for when you're buying a fork is the trail or the, um, the rake of the fork. In other words, the offset from uh, the center line here of the steerer tube and the um, the axle, where the axle sits on the uh, the dropouts here. So you want to make sure that is uh, similar to what you have, so your bike handles similarly, as well as uh, the overall length of the fork from the crown uh, down to the, uh, the uh, axle here. Um, other things you need to watch out for, make sure you have the right steerer tube. Um, if it's, if you have a tapered steerer tube, make sure this, the new one is tapered. If you're going to reuse your headset as well as make sure this width up here at the fork crown matches your existing, uh, forks dimension here from right here down to about here. So make sure the fork crown width is the same. So then it all looks the same when you put it on the bike, you know, it all fits flushly basically if, it, if it's supposed to look like that uh, like on some uh, higher performance bikes that's just kind of the way they come uh, so you probably want a fork that matches very similar to the fork you already have you can go wild and buy a different type of fork of course of course you uh, like I was saying before you need to make sure though the length is correct here so you can fit that 700 C wheel in there if, if you're using a 700 C wheel you know, if you're buying a fork, you buy a road bike fork or a mountain bike fork. You don't buy a, a you know, a mountain bike fork and then put it on a road bike. I'm not sure if that's even possible. Maybe it is. Let me know in the comments section below. But um, because I want to reuse my headset, it is very, port very important I buy a fork that is very similar, if not exact, to the fork I have in terms of the steering column here so I can reuse my bearings. Okay, back on the Ritchie website here, they give us some options. We have regular threadless, EC, press fit option, ZS, and a drop-in option, IS. So let's check out Park Tool. Park Tool explains it pretty well, I think. EC means the bearings of the headset sit outside of the bicycle frame, here and here. ZS means it is internal, the bearings sit inside of the frame's head tube, right there. And then the IS type is integrated. The bearings sit uh, completely within inside the head tube. And in fact, unlike the ZS option, uh, the races of the headset bearings, specifically the retainers for a sealed uh, type of headset bearing, they rest against uh, a... Um, basically a cup inside of the uh, the frame that's already built into the frame here. The ZS type, you have press fit cups. There, there are headset cups that you press into 
the frame, and then the headset bearings sit inside of those cups. So again, integrated type on on higher performance bikes or, or more more common nowadays, there are no headset cups. Uh, the cups are built into the frame. And that is what I'm dealing with right now. I have a, a headset with cups that are built into the frame, a IS type of headset. Here we go. Here's a very good, uh, here, here's how you can see what a, uh, this thing right here, basically. This is the crown race. It sits on top of your uh, fork crown, essentially. Um, and it is for the headset. It is specific to the headset. So I need one of these because I'm buying a new fork. When you buy a new fork, it does not come with a crown race. The crown race comes with the new headset you buy for your new fork. However, if you want to reuse your headset, you're probably going to need to go buy a new crown race. So that, again, that is this thing right here. Unless you pull the crown race off of your old fork. There's a couple ways of doing that. Um, you could try to um, clamp it down in a vise and then uh, nudge it off bit by bit on either side as you go back and forth with a hammer and a screwdriver. Um, that may be almost impossible to do though, in which case you would need a uh, specific tool, a crown race remover tool, very expensive, in which case you would take it to your local bike shop. Um, <laughs> Right now there's a, a pandemic going on, so maybe that's something you decide not to do. Although I would recommend that you do whatever you can to help support your bike shop in these uh, tough times. But um, if you don't want to take it to the bike shop, you're going to have to go buy a new Crown Race yourself. And uh, I recommend once you figure out what the brand of your headset is, look at the lower... Um, Look at the lower headset bearing because it's going to be the bigger bearing on a tapered uh, 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 fork. In other words, it'll be it'll be the bigger bearing. If you have the same size bearings, that's fine. But if it, if you have two different size bearings, one one at the bottom that's bigger than one at the top, uh, look at the one that you pulled out of your fork that is at the bottom and look at it closely. There'll be something stamped on the headset bearing, and it will say something like. Uh, you know, um, 52 by 40, and then it'll give you an angle, like 45 degrees or something. Um, so let me show you here. Uh, so here's the Ritchie headset. So you got some options here on the side. It is a 52 by 40. So this would be IS52 slash 40. This would be my, um, my, uh, crown race I need to buy. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. And here's the SKU number from Richie. So you can do a Google search on that and you could find it uh, somewhere else on the internet. eBay is usually a good place to go buy stuff. It says available only in store, but uh, you know, you can, uh, you can find places online as well that will sell it to you. Apparently Richie does not sell stuff direct themselves. At least they don't sell the little pieces. Um, so 10 bucks. So instead of buying a brand new, you know, $40, 50 60 70 plus dollar headset. I just, I'm just going to reuse my existing headset. Um, it's an integrated type, so it has no headset cups. So I don't have to remove any headset cups, even though I have a tool to do that for my uh, steel bicycles. Um, this being my carbon uh, bike, uh, I have integrated uh, headset type. So anyway, so that's how you figure out what fork crown race you need to buy. Uh, again, by the same brand, and then look at the bearing that's supposed to mash up with this crown race. Figure out what size bearing you got, and then pick the appropriate crown race for that size of bearing. And of course, make sure it's the right model too. I have a Ritchie WCS uh, type. It's all, they only have one type from Ritchie. Um, now, what do you do uh, if you don't know what your headset is? Uh, if you don't know what headset you got because you got a, a bike that has like no name brands on it, usually you will have a stamp on the uh, bearings, the lower bearings. Um, so here's like here's what a lower uh, uh, headset bearing might look like. Um, usually there'll be a stamp somewhere on the metal part, usually this part right here, somewhere along there that will tell you what the size of the bearing is the bearing uh, assembly, essentially, I guess. Um, so that, that'll get you going pretty far if you figure out the size of your bearing and the brand, and you probably will be okay. Um, but 
of course, when in doubt, take it to the local bike shop or uh, buy yourself a brand new headset and start all over again. Because again, like I said, when you buy a new fork, it does not come with the crown race. It does not come with the headset. It does not come with any of this stuff. So um, that's the case I'm uh, dealing with right now. So just to give you a little update of what Bike Blogger's up to, I've ordered a new fork for my bike. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And see you next time.